Today I'd like to demonstrate how to merge uh, for labels. Now labels are designed in many different sizes. You can do a label as a file folder label, you can do a mailing label, maybe a name badge, a business card, um, all sorts of different things, but it's very, very similar to merging envelopes. So, when we start here, I'm going to, first of all, go to mailings, click on the word mailings, and then start the mail merge. I want to go to the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard and go to labels. Once I've clicked on labels, then next I will start my document. Now it's going to be time for me to change my label options, so I'll click here under label op options, and when I get here, um, there will be there'll be a information about the vendor who produced the labels that you're using. Well, one of the very common ones that, that we see in most of uh, our office supply stores is going to be uh, an, a label by the name of Avery. So I'm going to choose the Avery U.S. letter. Then you would probably have a box of those labels there handy that you would be ready to slide through your printer. And so you'd look on that box and there would be a number. Now in the box that I have here, it's number 5160. So I'm looking for number 5160 in this list. And I find 5160 here. So it, you can see here, this is an easy peel mailing label. It's one inch tall by two and 2.63 inches wide. So I'll click on OK and that is my new label option. Next I'm going to go down here, select the recipients and uh, I think I'm just going to use an existing list. So I'll go to browse. I already have one that we've used a couple of times before and it's under the speech data source. By the way, if you want to know where that is, it's underneath the all data sources which is also under your uh, my docs. There's three names that I have already, so it's time for me to um, merge these recipients. So I'm going to click OK. And uh, at this point then, I want to arrange my labels. So I'll click on Arrange My Labels down across the bottom, and I want to insert the address block. So I'm going to click on Address Block, and then click OK. When I want to preview my labels, you can see here that I really don't want them to have that um, extra space. So I'm going to go under my Home tab, and I'm going to remove the space uh, before and after those paragraphs so that it looks like this instead. Now I want to replicate this particular thing on all of the fields and so I'm going to click up here at the very top under my mailings tab and I want to go to update labels. And when I click on update labels then it's going to allow me to have that this particular format go to all of my labels. You can preview your labels now. Make sure that they're all the way that you wanted them to look and then complete the merge. Once you've completed your merge, you can edit your individual ones and uh, that's the way it's going to turn out to look.